Good morning, Good everybody. Good morning. So a couple shout outs this morning. One is to my big sister in Oklahoma. Happy birthday, Happy Diane. Happy birthday, Diane. And also to our director of campus ministry here, Matt. It's his birthday as well. Happy birthday, Happy Matt. Happy birthday, Matt. <laughs> so God bless you all. And thank you all for joining in today as we're going to be st looking at John chapter 15. This starts a section, John 15, 16, and 17, of um, G mostly the words of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a red letter Bible, it's lots mostly, of red. Lots of red letters. And uh, so this is really um, a really cool section as we're going to be going into, culminating in John chapter 17, which is Jesus' prayer for his disciples and for all believers. And we're going to uh, kind of be leading up to that. But we're, today is going to be John chapter 15. Also, want to give thanks that we live in an age of technology when this is going on. So yesterday we did a couple fun. Yeah. We could do a couple fun things. We we uh, zoomed all of our kids that are spread all over the place. Our daughter lives in Milan, Italy. Our with her husband with Lorenzo. With her husband Lorenzo. Our our son lives in Brooklyn, New York, in a, in in partner with several people in there. And we also have a daughter that lives in Rochester, New York. Uh, her boyfriend lives in Buffalo. He's going to school. Uh, let's see. We, Rebecca was here in State College, but in a different location. Um, and so we just uh, all gathered together. Yeah. And uh, we played. Uh, we played psych. Yeah. <laughs> and shout then, out to Allison. She organized it all. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that was that was fun. And then later on, since I have a uh, every Thursday, I had a men's ministry, weightlifting ministry. And we did a Zoom workout where all the guys came in, but Stacy joined us and Caroline joined us. Off and, camera. Oh, <laughs> so join us for the, the ministry, the weightlifting ministry. No weights, we're just doing all body resistance, all body stuff. Yeah. So really good. Yeah, so it was, it was fun. It was fun. So why don't you share with us if you have some neat ideas of using technology to connect with family, connect with friends. What are some things you guys are doing? Share it with uh, share with us, and we can share it with you know more people than uh, so like ways to connect during this time. John chapter fifteen. So we're gonna look at John chapter fifteen. So this is uh, Jesus speaking. He says, "I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes." so that it will be even more fruitful. You're already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you're the branches. If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands... You will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command, love each other. Continues with verse 18. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember the words I spoke to you. No servant is greater than his master. 
If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin. Now, however, they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father as well. If I had not done among them what no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen these miracles, and yet they have hated both me and my father. But this is to fulfill what is written in their law. They hated me without reason. When the counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the father, the spirit of truth who goes out from the father, he will testify about me. And you also must testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. Okay. It's all read. It's all read. Yep. All Jesus' words. Let's, uh, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, um, for uh, the scriptures that have been preserved and that have been passed down to us for right here, right now, for such a time as this. Thank you for your presence with us and with everyone who's listening right now that you're with us, uh, that though we can't be physically present together, uh, by your spirit we are connected. By the power of your Holy Spirit, we're connected as brothers and sisters in Christ. And we thank you, Lord God, for the promises that are yes and amen that are in Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, so um, Jesus says uh, this opening thing that he is the vine uh, and we are the branches. And there's some things that I think will... Um, kind of speak and push against our pride because he says there apart from me you can accomplish nothing so he's really saying that anything that we're going to do apart from Jesus uh, is is not going to be counted as right and good in God's sight and what we would say what do you mean I can't do anything good apart from for from a relationship with with God well from a civic righteousness point of view, of course you can do good things. Your neighbor might not be a believer. They can do great things. They can do really good things. But apart from the blood of Jesus Christ, he has to cover over our good works in order to make them acceptable because we can do good works for a whole bunch of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them might might be, I just makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. Or... I like the accolades that I get from, from people, or I'm doing something good because I kind of expect something in return. It's to benefit myself in some way. So all of our works uh, need to be covered by the blood of Jesus to be counted as good work because he needs to cover the imperfection of even our good works mm -hmm. in there. So we need to be connected to the vine. He is the vine where the branches and we wither apart from him uh so that those are very strong words that he says um in in there okay so is what is there, is there anything else you got from there that you wanted to well talk about? i mean he just keeps saying how much he loves us and you know he's from the father and just keeps going over it just to make a big point about that yeah, remain in my love. You know, as the fathers love me, so I love you. Remain in my love. Love one another. He's, you know, that's yeah, love each good. other. This right. is my command, verse yeah. 17, love each other. This is verse 8. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. And so connected to him, we will bear the fruit that comes out of that, the fruit of the production of the Holy Spirit working through us to show the grace and mercy of well, God. Well, just like the first half is love, 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 and then the second half is not you're right there's other things going on. well i like um verse uh 12 and 13 my command is this love each other as i have loved you greater love has no one than this mm -hmm. that he lay down his life for his friends and you will see moments in history where someone will lay down their life for their friend uh sometimes in a in war somebody will throw themselves in a grenade to uh, save their buddies. Mm -hmm. um, and they'll take the bullet, essentially, take the grenade or whatever it is. Or somebody would definitely um, uh, push their child out of way of a way of a oncoming car, and maybe they would get hit and killed themselves. But they were doing that. They're sacrificing. And Jesus says, that's great love. But here's the reality. It says in the scripture 
that while we're yet God's enemies, Jesus died for us. I mean, could you imagine, think of the person that has picked on you in your life. Think of the person that has belittled you in your life. Think of the person that just kind of gets on mm -hmm. your nerves all the time and say, and you lay down your life for them. This is the reality of what Jesus has done. Greater love is no one that he laid down his life for his friend, and yet Jesus lays down his life where we yet his enemies, or we didn't even care. We turned our back on God. That's how much God loves you. So keep that in mind, always, the extent of his love for you. And then, okay, so then we go into yeah. the, the, the next section, the world hates the disciples, verse uh, 18 and following. Um, and he's just, just reminding us all that, you know what? I came into this world, Jesus is saying, I came, basically I came into this world, I did all of these great works, all of these great miracles, cared for people, showed compassion and concern for people, and what did some people attribute his miracles to? The devil. Mm. The wor if the world has hated me, it will also hate you, no matter what. I um, mean, so that's the reality as, as a follower of Jesus. And we have to remember that uh, we have it pretty easy here in the United States. Uh, you know, somebody might say, oh, you're a Christian you know what's wrong with you mm -hmm. you must not be thinking right or whatever it is so a certain amount of if you want to call it persecution persecution to extent but there's our brothers and sisters in christ right now that maybe are living in north korea mm -hmm. maybe in saudi arabia maybe in um, iran or other places around the world by the way one of the fastest growing churches in the world is in iran right now uh, in the midst of horrendous persecution. So uh, we just pray for our brothers and sisters of Christ as they show the love of Christ in the midst of very, very difficult circumstances. That's the mm -hmm. love uh, that God manifests uh, through us uh, as the Spirit works in us. And you can't do this. You cannot love your enemies in your own strength. No. I, at least I can. No, I don't know. I you're probably better than me no. at doing that. <laughs> so. Definitely not. <laughs> because he says in here, remember the words I spoke to you, no servant is greater than his master. Yeah. We're all equally flawed <laughs> yeah. and equally loved. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. Again, so it's like going through all of that. So, um, and he really talks about, really, if you want to know God, look to Jesus because he, he says he who hates me hates my father as well so you can't just uh, you can't reject Jesus and say I, oh, I'm a worshiper of God J Jesus is God he is God in human mm -hmm. flesh and if you want to know God look to Jesus then you know what then you know the father um, all right so then verse 26 when the counselor comes whom I will send to you from the father the spirit of truth who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. So the, the Holy Spirit's work is to point people to Jesus. And he uses, God uses us as his ambassadors to point, and the Holy Spirit working through us to point people to Jesus and the hope that is ours in Christ. So as you go about your day today, just remember that. It's not you. You're just joining Jesus on his mission, his great redemptive mission. Uh, it's, it's not us. It's not about us. It's about what he has done. And he's done the heavy lifting. You haven't had to go to the cross. I haven't had to go to the cross. Jesus has done the heavy lifting. He and the Spirit is out there working, preparing the hearts of people. And we're just joining him on his mission, his great redemptive mission. And uh, what a privilege that is for us as we follow Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so maybe we can have a, a little time of prayer together. Uh, Father, we, we're thankful that... Uh, that your promises will not fail that are found in Jesus, that we get to join him on his great redemptive mission. Uh, help us to never think that we can do this in our own strength, to never think that we can uh, love the way you were called to love in and of our own strength. We fall far short of that. We need you, Lord God, each and every day, each and every step of the way. And uh, we pray, Lord God, for just... Uh, a ceasing of this virus 
that people would heed the call of the president and the, in regards to the social distancing guidelines and all that, and to the uh, um, the medical staff and the medical people that are working so hard. Lord God, our hearts go out to them. We praise you and thank you for the heroes that are out there that are working mm -hmm. hard that literally are laying down their lives mm -hmm. uh, for others right now. So Lord God, help us to uh, come together as a community, to love each other well, and to be a blessing to all uh, you, have, you have given into our care. We especially want to pray for those who suffer from mental health issues, for those who uh, suffer from loneliness already before this. Lord, help them to realize they're not alone, that you are with them, and uh, no matter where, there is no place so dark that your light cannot mm -hmm. shine. And so, Father, lift them up in their time of need and help us to check on one another and to lift each other up in, our, in this time. So we pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus, who's taught us to pray together, our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day.